ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಗಿಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಮಯ ದೇವಸ್ಫಟಿಕಾಕೃತಿ ಆಧಾರ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಗ್ರೀವಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ವಂದೇ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಹಯ್ಯಗ್ರೀವ ಪುರೋ ಮೇ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶಕ ಏನ ಪಕ್ವಮತಿರ್ನೂನ ಕಿಂಚಿತ್ಭೂತ ಹಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಅನ್ ಮಾಂ ಚ್ಯುತ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮೇ ಗುರೋ ಅರಕ್ಷತನುಕುಂಭಾತೆ ಪದಮನುಸರಾಮ್ಯಹಂ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಸದಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಹಂ ಸದಾ ಕುಲೀನಂ ಧೀಶುಶೀಲಾದಿ ವಿಗ್ರಹಂ ಶುದ್ಧ ವೇದಿಕ ವೇದಾಂತಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಮುನೀಂದ್ರಕೃಪಾತಬೋಧಂ ದತ್ಪಾದಯುಗ್ಮ ಸರಸಿ ಋಹಭೃಂಗರಾಜ ತ್ರಯಂತಯುಗ್ಮಕೃತಭೂರಿ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮ ತಂ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಮುನಿ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ವೇದಾಂತರಾಮಾನಜೇತಿ ಕೃಪಯಾ ರಂಗಿನಿನ್ಯಸ್ತಾರಂ ತತ್ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಗಮಾಂತೇ ಮನಗನ್ನ ಶಿಷ್ಟತಾಪೂರ್ಣಮಗ್ಯ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗರಾಮಾನುಜ ಮುನಿಕರುಣಾಲಬ್ಧಮೋಕ್ಷಾಶ್ರಮ ತಂ ಸತ್ಪಸ್ಥಂ ಶ್ರೀವರಾಹಂ ಯತಿವರಮನಘಂ ದೇಶಿಕಂ ಸಂಶ್ರಯಾ ನಮಸ್ ಭಾಯಿ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿಯಾಸ ದರ್ಶಕ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ಯು ಸೀನ್ ಏಟ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಫ್ ನೌ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸೀ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ನೈನ್ತ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಸ್ ಅಕೃತ್ಯಾಂ ಚ ಕರಣ ಕೃತ್ಯಾಂ ವರ್ಜನ ಚ ಮೇ ಕ್ಷಮಸ್ವ ನಿಖಿಲಂ ದೇವ ಪ್ರಣತಾತಿಹರ ಪ್ರಭೋ ಅಕೃತ್ಯಾಂ ಚ ಕರಣ ಕೃತ್ಯಾಂ ವರ್ಜನ ಚ ಮೇ ಕ್ಷಮಸ್ವ ನಿಖಿಲಂ ದೇವ ಪ್ರಣತಾತಿಹರ ಪ್ರಭೋ the eighth verse swami deshika he prayed to lord varadaraja like this he karunakara he karunakara me who is who has to be protected by you only please do not enable me to do wrong deeds to do papa i don't have the capacity to control myself so therefore you i give the charge over to you please don't enable me give me the opportunities to make mistakes i don't know if i shared this view already in this world there are let us say 100 people 90 would commit a mistake when there is an opportunity five people are those who will not do any mistake even when there is an opportunity and the rest of five to which adin belongs to are the ones who are experts in creating opportunities in order to make sins or mistakes so there are some like us so we should pray to bhagavan additionally requesting that please don't give me that buddhi to make create opportunities and also allow me sometimes if he is udasinan udasinan means if he is indifferent he may allow us to do wrong deeds otherwise there wouldn't be any wrong deeds happening in this world the the jeevatma of his own accord does not have the independence to do anything wrong so bhagavan what he does is at a overall level he gives the permission for the jeevatma to act according to his karma according to his limited free will so that sanction is given by bhagavan already so it is independence at the same time not independence why because even that short lived independence is permitted by bhagavan why because bhagavan wants to see what he is up to what this jeevatma is up to if he is going to ask me for help i will go and help him if he says i will manage by myself then he will just leave so therefore we have to very carefully choose what we need to pray to bhagavan we wouldn't know perhaps that's why we have to chant stotras like nyasa dashaka now here what is the reason for committing sin the reason to or rather sin is an outcome of two actions two probable actions one is by performing what one should not be done by performing a deed which should not be done at all 
and by omitting to do what ought to be done doing what should not be done and not doing what should be done so these two are the reasons for accumulating sins so swami deshika in the ninth verse prays for that thought even i am a person akrityanam cha karanam i am an expert in doing only those which is prohibited or disallowed by shastras ahamas naparadh chakravarti says elsewhere swami deshika in his stutis and then it could be that a person does what he should do and also he does what he shouldn't do there are many people in this world who are good at the same time they may have some bad activities bad habits then swami says swami says no no krityanam varjanam chame i don't do what should be done because of which i have a huge wealth of sins i have lots and lots of bags of sins క్షమస్వ నిఖిలం దేవ నిఖిల మీన్స్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ హే దేవ బట్ భగవాన్ ప్లీజ్ పాడన్ మీ మై రిక్వెస్ట్ టు యూ ఈస్ టు ఎక్స్టింగ్విష్ ఆల్ దీస్ సెన్స్ అండ్ గివ్ మీ దట్ బెంట్ ఆఫ్ మైండ్ విత్ విచ్ ఐ వుడ్ డూ ఓన్లీ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ సపోజ్ టు డూ అండ్ ఐ వుడ్ నాట్ డూ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ సపోజ్ టు డూ అండ్ స్వామి దేశిక హియర్ చూసస్తి సంబోధన అందర్ సంబోధన పద ప్రణతార్తి హర ప్రభో త్రీ ఒకేటివ్ పార్టికల్స్ త్రీ ఒకేటివ్ వర్డ్స్ హియర్ దేవ ప్రణతార్తి హర ప్రభో 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 ఈజ్ ది సంబోధన విభక్తి ఆఫ్ ప్రభు హే ప్రభో హే గురో లైక్ దిస్ ప్రభు మీన్స్ ద లాడ్ as i say in english he is a master so a master has to pay heed to his servants request prabho pranata aarti hara pranata aarti hara the word pranata aarti hara can be split as pranata aarti hara pranata means one who have done sharanagati or one who have surrendered one who resorted to bhagavan aarti means dukha affliction that's why generally it is not recommended to name the girl children as aarti in in at least in the tamil speaking world uh, there is habit to uh, there is tendency to name their girl children as aarti a r t i r a r t h i something like this instead of harati while harati is to do something so something to do with the uh, auspicious uh, thing but here aarti means affliction pranata aarti hara hara means one who takes away one who dispels so bhagavan he varada you are the only one who can dispel the sins and the wrong intellect of your devotees therefore i beg upon you to pardon me especially me why because i have this tendency to do what i am not supposed to do and also i have this tendency to neglect what i am supposed to do now these two very important from the perspective of sharanagati why because at the time of sharanagati we have taken oath saying anukulyasa sankalpaha that hey bhagavan from this moment as i have acquired the gnana that adiyan is a shesha bhuta to yourself adiyan will henceforth will only do or follow in line with your commands follow in line with your commands that is anukulya sa sankalpaha i will always be favorable to you i will always do such deeds which are as per the shastras also we say pratikulya sa varjanam i will not do that is not sanctioned by the shastras that is not rather that is forbidden by the shastras that is pratikulyasya varjanam i will avoid those activities which might fetch or which might earn your wrath or anger 
So these two sankalpas we take at the time of doing prapatti. But we have taken sankalpa, that is fine. But do we really have that strength, that mental strength to keep adhering to our sankalpa? We may not. Therefore, it's, it's only pertinent that we again pray to Bhagavan on a daily basis. Because every night when we go to sleep, uh, we may think about the day. But tomorrow, we, we would not know how we are going to be, what is the situation we are going to face. Therefore, every day it, it makes sense for us to keep praying to Bhagavan with these requests saying that Please bear with me for all the mistakes I have been doing and also please do not prompt me, please do not allow me. Even if I am going to commit a mistake, you have to stop me. So like this, this Nyasa Dashaka, that's why it has been used, it's been, what as they say, Anusandhanam. People do, Acharyas, they do Anusandhanam of Nyasa Dashaka on a daily basis and every Sri Vaishnava is supposed to chant Nyasa Dashaka. Of course, by realizing the meanings thereof will be a very good uh, uh, very good task. Why? Because then we know who we are, what we should do and what we shouldn't do. And we also have the uh, kind of solace that Bhagavan is there to help us. So this is the meaning of the ninth verse. Akrityanam Chakaranam. Akrityanam means... Akrityam means what has to be done. Akrityam means that which should not be done. Akrityana means of them. So I am a doer or rather my activity is only around that which shouldn't be done. Kritiyana is the opposite of Akrityana. Varjanam means avoiding. May means to me, mama. Kshamasva is request. As I say, imperative mood. Kshamasva. Nikhilam. All this of mine, please bear with me. Pardon me, Deva, Pranatarti Hara, Prabhu. These three are vocative uh, vibhakti. Uh, thank you. Srimadhe Nigamanta Mahadeshikaya Namaha.